Okay, so here's where we were last time. Uh, first off, let's check our army. Our army has a lot of mobility. So let's have it go here. So anyone who hasn't seen this game, we've got, uh, we're the commander of an army, but we've got both, we got both our little squad of people, which is like up close and personal, and we've got an army that plays kind of like Heroes of Might and Magic. So let me see if I can crush one of these armies immediately. There are two pins, Mr. Happy Clams pinned an image to the second one. I don't control Mr. Happy Clams. Uh, what is that unit? Succubi. Ranged unit. Alright. Can I use a Molotov on one of these? Alright, archers hit that one. Oh my god. She gone. Alright, I lost 18 clerics. Okay. Uh, lay on hands yourself. Wait. That shouldn't have been his whole turn. Dude, get off me. Thank you. Uh, I'm actually gonna pass his turn so that we can heal someone and get our skeletons back before I end it. Do you just switch games? Yes, I just swapped to Pathfinder. I just swapped. Alright, cool. So we ended that with zero losses and crushed another one of the demon armies. The commander's unit was awestruck at their discovery. A small oh, army of crusaders had taken a rest way. stop in the middle of the world wound and decided to arrange a tournament. The noble knight's playful frolicking, however, ended in a bloody massacre to which they were blithely oblivious as the warrior's eyes were entranced by the queen of the tournament, a magnificent nude succubus, who observed the crusaders with a gracious smile as they blew off each other's heads. A scarlet gemstone set in a delicate web of finest steel gleamed on her bosom. The fight was brief, but very brutal. With deep sorrow, the commander's warriors eyed the corpses of their brother in arms. They had fallen into a demon trap. Uttering the words of Iomade, an officer ripped the magnificent decoration from the Sekibai's bosom. Even after death, her cold, beautiful lips still wore her smile of contentment. Okay, so we got Attractive Impulse, which is some weird gemstone. All right. Let's pause. What is this one? I think that's fine. All right. Raid Path Wars 2 of Exile. Don't forget Ball Z. What was that? Hold on a second. Lost 5, lost 10, lost 40 to 45, lost 0. Okay. They pass. Lay on hand self. They changed. They, they must have done a patch in the last few days. This guy, he used to get one lay on hands per battle. Now he appears to have one per round. But before it was a free action. Now it takes his whole turn. Oh my god, I never noticed this. You can see the infirmary size here. Oh, wow. So any units in the infirmary are automatically revived at the end of a fight, and you don't have to worry about, like, healing them in the fight? I did not realize there was, like, a bar there. I could have been saving myself so much mental math. Muck, what should I use gems for in raid? There is an, um, a building called, uh, there's, there's like the gem mine, the sparring pit, uh, there's, there's a handful of stuff like that. You want to unlock those. Uh, the gem mine gives you free gems every day, so it takes a little while to pay for itself, but if you get that, you know, eventually it pays for itself and then it's like profit every day, and it's awesome. Uh, the sparring pit allows you to train heroes and have them gain, uh, experience when you're not playing, you know, you don't have the game open, so that, you know, is handy. Um, the shop, by unlocking the stuff in the shop, you're able to, um, you know, get more good offers. Um, additionally, 
there's one thing getting your talent it's it's basically called your masteries which are like your talent points they you get them from killing the minotaur if you can't kill the minotaur or you just don't want to you can spend 800 gems to give a hero full masteries and just skip that i only recommend doing that if you are on your first farmer character let's say ninja or kale and because you can't kill minotaur yet or super super late game you just want to save time uh, a group of vicious demandans was trailing through the wastelands, driving a crowd of horribly wounded slaves in front of them. They forced the poor prisoners to insult their gods and desecrate their symbols. Now their evil ceremony has been stopped. The priests are murmuring that a chapel must be built at the site of the righteous victory to glorify the crusader's feet. Daily income increased, energy times four. Okay, so that army is out of stamina. So... What's going on here? All right, so this army was bringing new marksmen down to this one. General level up. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Choose an ability. You will guarantee to get Breath of Life. Uh, restores HP to the target area. This is a divine spell. Holy Bomb. Creates a holy storm in an area. This is a siege ability. Obstacle. Creates an impassable obstacle in a square. Uh, smoke bomb provides plus seven bonus to armor class against ranged attacks. Caltrops deal power damage to all passing units except flyers. Uh... Again, holy bomb or see uh, obstacles a new mechanic. I've got ways of doing damage. Let's get obstacle. Okay. All right, let's take our actual party mem members. We're going to rest real quick. It's just going to advance time by, like, nine in-game hours. Uh, it seems like you're deliberately goading me, trying to make me fall, Darren. Why? Because I'm a terrible person, darling. Haven't you realized that yet? <laughs> Attack out of nowhere. Explore the Molten Scar. What was that? I mean, I don't know how to get there. I'm still trying to figure that out. Okay, so we're approaching this place for the very first time. All right. Uh, let's see. Do I want to buff up here? Wait, have I been here before? Oh, wait, this is where the creepy town was. I have been here. I wasn't done here yet. All right. So, yeah, this this place was brutal. We do want to buff up for this. So casting Bark Skin on our party members to uh, increase their armor class. Aspect of the Stag to boost them all. Magic Fang to buff the pets. Delay Poison for poison immunity. Rage. Imbue Magic Armor. Magic Shield. Enlarge Person on Shulk. Reduce person on the tank to increase her armor. Mage armor on the pets. Wait, did that second one work? No, it didn't. Resist arrows. See invisibility. And here was it. Last one. All right. Quick save, just so we don't have to do that again. What's the tent? The camp is abandoned, but there are no signs of struggle anywhere. The tracks indicate the Crusaders left willingly. I'll go ahead.
The horse clearly belonged to the missing crusaders. Alright, now we did find the missing crusaders. They were pretty much sacrificed. Okay. Thank you, someone. Here are more people uh, boosting the next giveaway. Oh, a new arrival. Welcome to arrival. Hello. Oh, that's a big boy. All right. Rely on me. You're in front, girl. They will break against our resolve. Everyone, go. Hey! Friggin', this guy just shot lightning over here. Hey! Right, Wait. Was that not the tree on doing that? Is there someone up here shooting me? Yeah. Oh, you punk. Okay, hang on. The inheritor, guide my blade. Into the fray, hear you cry. Oh, nice Shulk smash. I was really confused there when the lightning came down after that guy was dead. Insane half-elf. Mix together Calamus and Sedge. Wait five years, five moons, and five days until the serpent ascends the staircase. Have patience and you will at last behold as the fish soars into the clouds. The half-elf is still relatively young, but the hardships she has borne have turned her into a crone. Her long hair is gray and tangled, her face is sunken, and her teeth are rotting in her mouth. She hobbles around the petrified tree, trailing her broken fingernails over the carved runes and mumbling nonsense under her breath. Who are you? Dragging her gaze away from the runes, she looks at you and you see a barely there spark of sanity in her glazed eyes. Who am I? I'm... Uh, I don't remember. Doesn't matter. She focuses again on the pattern of the stone runes. On the tenth day after the winter solstice, break branches of Rowan do not touch you or Ash. Paying you no mind, the half-elf continues mumbling disjointed phrases and running her fingers over the petrified bark. Oak does not lie. Elm never tells the truth. Heed not the Blackthorn's words, understanding that you will come with time. As it All right. Be. Typical to you, a T-Rus to server problems, Batch Pathfinder. <laughs> Did they break another game that was already working fine before they touched it? A huge tree entirely turned to stone. Its surface reveals ancient runes written in an unknown language. You know, one of my quests right now... To become a lich is to lower my alignment. And I would need to do a lot of evil things to get out of neutral good. Like, a lot of them. I could just kill this guy and be on well on my way. Does anyone know if... I know Kingmaker had a way to mess with your alignment using, like, a guy in town. Does anyone know if Wrath of the Righteous has that? All right, so that's blocked off. What if we go over here? Uh, when gazing at the stars, don't forget to look at what is right in I'll front of you. Ahead. Oh, hello. The somber, scarred warrior guarding the gates to the settlement almost chokes when he sees you. Stop! Stop, you monster! You some nerve just showing up outside the walls of Winter Sun like this. Why are you glaring at me? Do you think you could avoid the wrath of the Lady of the Sun? The sight of this place gives you a vague sense of unease. You hear the piteous cry of a stag from the woods, and one of Aristotle's favorite sayings pops into your head as if of its own violation. Never trust a fool. You hear it so clearly, it's as if someone whispered it in your ear. It seems old Deadeye is trying to warn you. But about what? I found bodies of murdered crusaders at a shrine not far from here. What do you have to say to that? I say you're a lying piece of abyss scum, and I'm going to make you pay for it right now. He reaches for his blade, and his partner does the same. Stop, children of Winter Sun. The voice, soft and stirring, is coming from the statue adorning the gates. Do not raise your weapons. Let them pass. This creature is my guest. I shall keep an eye on him. No, None can harm the children of Winter Sun within my domain. The warrior's face hardens. What? 
Let the monster into the village when we're the last place standing against the demons now that Dresden's fallen. Wait, what? Dresden's my town. It's fine. Uh, you heard the Lady of the Sun, Dimwit. Let him pass. What's this demon going to do anyway? The Lady of the Sun has protected us all these years, and no abomination from the Abyss has ever captured Winter Sun, and it's not going to happen today either. The second guard squints at you grimly. So Suddenly, you hear a crash and screams from somewhere behind the buildings. Then comes a call of warriors to me. Both guards throw a final steely look at you before leaving their posts and running toward the commotion. Only the wooden idol now remains to watch over the settlement outskirts. Tap and quick save. I know the way. Where's the problem? This lady's just here sweeping. She, she's like, yeah, there's, there's no problem. Nothing wrong here. Follow my lead. Got some fish, found some gold. Mm, oh! Rival. That could be a problem. He's only got a sword made of darkness and a whip made of flames. It's no big deal. Babao. No crowding here, good neighbors. No crowding. A Babao demon holding a pretty flower basket flashes a predatory grin. Poor Dar is not himself. He lost his family in Dresden and has been drowning his grief in wine for a few days. He always picks fights when he's drunk, and you know what a stonemason's fists are like. He killed the boy, cries voices from the crowd. Make way, neighbor. We'll put him in a cellar to sleep it off. Sila, her eyes flashing, reaches for her weapon. This is going to turn ugly. We need to get the people back to their houses while we deal with the Baylor. The Babao turns around and hisses at the culprit, a huge Baylor whose feet a young barbarian is lying covered in blood. I'm so tired of you, neighbor Dar. Go home and stop ruining the fun for the rest of us. He's hitting the poor flower girl. Dar, wake up. The Lady of the Sun won't have things like this. Wait, flower girl? Wait, does everyone see that the Babao is a flower girl? And now Orin's here. I'm wondering if I'm under an illusion. I wonder if these aren't demons and I'm seeing crap. Or they're under an illusion, and they are demons, and they're not seeing it. A tall warrior with dark hair and gray eyes stands between the humans and the roaring Baylor. He looks the fiend right in the eye. Are you forgetting where you are? These lands are protected by the Lady of the Sun. Behave or I, Marhavat Grunhold, will throw you out of my town. They're all gnomes in trench coats. The Baylor's laughter is booming. You really think your beloved beauty can do anything to me? If I wanted, I could break her neck and yours and your little worms and the necks of every puny human in the district, and then I'll pay a visit to the castle in the clouds and clear out every sunny little follower. I'm sick of this game anyway. I'm leaving for now. Marhavok. I'm go about your business now. There's nothing to gawp at. The warrior bends down and picks up several of the flowers from the basket belonging to the Babao. He notices you and his expression hardens infinitesimally. Ah, a guess of the lady. I am the chief of the Winter Sun clan. You can look around if you wish, but you must visit me in the clan hall. It would be rude of you not to pay a proper visit to the master while you're in his house. Demons are walking around your town like it's a home away from home. His mouth twists like he's biting back a retort and he desperately wants to deliver. In that case, shouldn't thanks be in order, demon? If not for the kindness of the lady, you would have been killed on the spot. They see me as a demon. I thought they were just... I thought that at the gate, those guys were just being rude, like they were using it like it was just an offensive term. I think they actually see me as a monster. I came here to find out who killed my crusaders. Their bodies are lying at your shrine by the lake. He frowns. The Lady's Shrine is sacred to all the children of Wintersun. If someone has desecrated it with murder, they will be punished. 
You're changing the subject. I'm not used to talking in the middle of the town square. Come to my hall, honored guest. We'll speak there. All right, so I'm thinking maybe he can't tell me the truth while these guys are watching him. So I'm going to be like, all right, I accept your invitation, master. Very well, I'll be expecting you. He nods and walks off, tension radiating from him with every step. Uh, guess Mirha. A woman with a wealth of long, dark hair stands by the statue, carefully touching the wood. Her long fingers slide across the smooth surface, searching for cracks and scratches. As you approach, the woman startles, tosses her head back, and you see her eye sockets are empty and scabbed over like old scars. Ah! Oh, who's there? A stranger. I don't recognize your footsteps. I'm a guest of the... Wait, hold on. I, I choose something. I'm the Knight Commander of the Crusaders. I've come from Dresden looking for my missing people. A visitor from the outside, and a Crusader too, she exclaims enthusiastically. But then she seems to falter, quirking her head like he she's trying to listen to something. Her fingers tremble nervously. What do you want to talk to me about? There's something strange going on in Winter Sun. Your fellow villagers call me a monster, while they themselves converse with demons like it's nothing. Demons? Within these walls? That's not possible. The Lady of the Sun promised to protect us. Besides, the settlement has old rune stones that start to flicker when demons approach. Even if the monsters had tricked us somehow by disguising themselves, the stones would have warned us about the danger. And my people wouldn't be caught dead chatting to our sworn enemies. She frowns as though puzzling it out. I'm wondering if the... You guys know the Lady of the Sun talking from the statue? What if that's not even her? What if, what if that's a trick too? Hmm. Um... What happened to your eyes? My name is Gesmirha. I was the senior wood shaper in Wintersun, a woodcarver or sculptor, as you would call it. My level of skill is not bestowed on everyone. We wood shapers do not consider wood to be just a material. We do not make something out of it. We give the wood a new birth. We reveal its beauty in a new form. I came from an ancient line of craftsmen and women, and I swear I have done everything to avoid bringing shame to my ancestors' memory. I strove to preserve beauty even in the midst of chaos, which is what the demons had turned Sarkoris into, aided by the traitor Erelu. Uh, Erelu. But one day my gift failed me. At the request of Mar Havok, our clan chief, I was tasked with carving a statue of the Lady of the Sun. But no matter how hard I tried, instead of a beautiful elf, my chisel again and again revealed a hideous monster in the wood. Marhavak flew into a rage when he saw my work, she says, her voice quieter now. He personally cut out my eyes as punishment, and journeymen were given the task of finishing the statue. The clan did not turn its back on me, of course. The children of Winterson do not drive out their own, even those who have transgressed before the entire community. They allowed me to do simple carvings and to take care of the statues. That is how I have lived since that day. That Marhavok of yours, he's a nasty piece of work, isn't he? Robbing an artist of her sight. That's not just brutal, it's foul. Some murders are less depraved than that. I've been looking for missing crusaders, and I found their bodies at your shrine. Bodies at the shrine? That's very strange. The children of Winterson are no enemies of the crusaders, and no one would dare sully the Lady of the Sun's shrine with the blood of allies. Marhavok always keeps the shrine adorned with flowers of the la for the lady, along with trophies, slain demons. His people saw the Crusaders as demons, and they murdered them. Demons? You're saying he leaves dead demons? What madness is this? But at least we know now who's responsible for the bodies. Her eyes are ablaze. She is silent for a while, gathering her thoughts. Listen, stranger. There is something odd happening here, it's true. The Lady of the Sun promised us protection, and demons truly have never attacked the settlement. But there are visitors that come and go from the outside. They come often. They look like crusaders, merchants from Mendev, scholars from Absalom, or kin of Our Lady from her castle in the clouds. Some of them even live here long term. And every single one of them acts strangely. They talk to us like there's some great joke and we're not in on it. And sometimes there are rougher types who do something wild. I've been broaching this topic with people I trust, but they either don't believe me or they're afraid to speak openly. Marhavok does not permit any doubts about him with the Lady of the Sun or her guests. Yeah, I'd be afraid to talk about it too if he cut out this lady's eyeballs. And there's something else. Grief wells up in the woman's voice. Every few years, someone in the village goes mad. It's usually one of our guards or hunters who goes out on forays to kill demons. You guys remember the guy that was insane talking to the stone tree? Thinking about him right now. 
They start weeping, begging for forgiveness, or they attack their neighbors. The clan doesn't turn its back on its children. That's why these mad people are only put outside the settlement's walls. But every now, everyone now believes they're beyond helping. They are mad and angry at the entire world. A secret horror gnaws at the soul of Winter Sun, but I can't see it or find out what it is, and I don't know how to help you solve it, friend. All I can give you is the piece of advice. Check our runestones. They should warn us about demons in the vicinity, and if they are not doing that, then there is some evil at work here. If you want answers quickly, go straight to Marhavak. He's the only person who has been in the castle in the clouds, and he even had a key to it hidden somewhere. He knows more than anyone else, but watch yourself. Marhavak is a mighty warrior, quick to anger, and ruthless, and the limits of the Lady of the Sun's powers are entirely unknown. Thank you. All right. It's very important that I first check this barrel. Alright, scoping out the area here. Runestone. Arcana 26 dice itself. check. Failed. It's hard to tell just by looking at it if it's working. They show no reaction to Arushale's presence. Oh. I finished here. Is there more? I forgot. Be. We have a demon in our current party. Trivial. Text in Halit, wind uproots a single tree but dies down in a thicket. Stand shoulder to shoulder with your clansmen like trees in a forest. That My mouse cursor hot. is the unlock button right now. Little little bug there. Quasit? Hush, baby, don't say a word. Uh, just wait till your mama gets back, you little menace. Stay away from the child, you beast. Ahead. The closet's acting like a baby and getting, like, babied. Okay, so there's the big... Th all right, hold on. I'm just, I'm like mapping out the area right now. My husband killed all these monsters, every single one. Runestone. I sense something. The runestone is fake. It has no power to detect demons. Okay, I guess we passed the check and we found out it's not real. So this lady says, my husband killed all these monsters and there's human skeletons here. Oh my god. You do not recognize the runes carved in the stone. I failed the world knowledge check. Is there anything over here before I go into the, the chieftain's house? Something is not right here. The rune stone was smashed and the pieces carefully hidden. Discuss the. Oh. As it should be. What's this? A magical rapier? Reeking heart of the arcane. That would be good if I still had that uh, rich noble's daughter that used rapiers in the party, but she turned out to be a psychopath and we had to kill her. Are you saying you didn't know Gabe was a closet? Oh, I know Gabe's a closet, but I accepted it. Little imp. The runestones were broken and replaced with fakes. So demons truly can roam here, and no one even suspected because we had faith in the stone's warning and in the Lady of the Sun's protection. The only thing we can do is go to Marhavak and demand answers. I want to believe that he has been deceived and will act on behalf of his clan when you show him your proof of betrayal, and the destruction of the runestones is a true betrayal of the clan. Okay. I'm glad I did this before talking with the guy. Tapping that quick save button. Go into the clan hall. This is cool. I like this little mystery. Uh, why is the floor lava? I don't like that. The mighty Marhavok sits on a dais covered in pelts. I wonder if he's even human or if he's a demon in disguise. In one enormous hand, he is holding a single flower and his face wears a grim expression. Wait, is this the lady I've been talking to? Sarkorian Ranger. Chief, we've brought the traitor. A tall female warrior drags a stumbling woman with empty eye sockets into the hall. We have several witnesses who say she was slandering the Lady of the Sun and her guests, and she even urged her neighbors to spy on them. Hand me the axe. Marhavok's voice is grim. I have been very patient with you, Gesmirha. You dare to dishonor the Lady of the Sun, our happiness and protection. You didn't repent. You only nursed your malice in secret. I see now that taking your eyes was not enough. This time I will take your hands. 
Heaven knows that I believe in forgiveness and redemption, but I so dearly want to kill that man and I won't even regret it, Muck. Are we really going to watch this happen? Stop. You're busy inflicting violence on the weak and powerless while someone has destroyed your rune stones and replaced them with fakes. He's not lying. Our talismans have been destroyed and can no longer warn us about demons. The smashed pieces were hidden in the walls of our settlement and replicas that have no magical properties were put in their place. My chief, open your eyes. Can't you see what's going on under your own roof? <laughs> 